1200 GGI mob shit, and I'm back. So we going in that Thomas with it. We gonna be talking about Butch. Undisputed records. I would say co-CEO. Even though he wasn't a co-CEO, I just say co-CEO because he was basically Skullface, right hand man, long live Skullface and long live Butch. Shout out to that same tone. Butch would be somebody that really was out here doing a lot of stuff. Like he really was out here putting in a lot of work. You know what I'm saying? I forgot who told me when he really like flashed out and really started cutting up. But they say he really been had running around with that that iron in his hand for a long time. I remember me doing an ep about. When Butch and Scorey pulled up on me and my partner World, Long Live World. Um, I did the ep when I said Butch and Scorey pulled up on us on the corner and Butch told us to get off the corner. That would be my first time me having an encounter with Butch. You feel me? But after that, I would I would see him frequently from time to time because like I said, the St. Thomas, a lot of people from the St. Thomas would stand on our block and our hood on Loyola Street. So... I guess a lot of the individuals that he messed with out the project, like majority of they click was in my in my section on my block. I will hear a story about the situation that happened with BG Derrick. Schoolface really not wanting to hit his brother, and Bush being the one that was like, look, man. I do it, you know what I'm saying? And you just get, you know, you get his partner out the way, I get him out the way. You know what I'm saying? But he had got into a little situation in the St. Bernard Project too. Shout out to that seven one man. I mean, long live everybody that lost their life in that walk. The St. Thomas versus the um, St. Bernard Project. But it would be him, BG Derrick, um, Jarnell, long live BG Derrick, long live Jarnell, long live Latroy. Butch would wind up losing his dad to that war. A lot of people would wind up losing their lives in that war. But I heard that Butch really wasn't nothing to play with. Like, he really was like that for real. He was definitely one of them people out of Thomas who put a lot of work in and was and was repping that St. Thomas proud. You feel what I'm saying? Like he really was really was putting in that work behind the Thomas. I forgot really what they got into it behind in the Bernard. I won't say it was really about like territory and stuff like that. I guess certain individuals went back there. But they said it was slick side all love a little like the B really wasn't tripping, but See, the Thomas really went back there and just was on some Debo shit trying to really take over and the D what I mean the um the B wasn't having it. You feel me? One thing led to another, and next thing you know, you had a full-fledged war going on back there. And it was a real bloodbath, a real bloody one. A lot of people lost their life to that. A lot of people lost their life in that little war right there. A lot of people from the city remember that St. Bernard versus St. Thomas on um, beef. It was serious. And then it was so crazy because what probably made it so bad, and I know what made it so bad, was that the St. Thomas basically was outnumbered. You feel me? Like, I ain't already said that they was outnumbered, but they hadn't already lost a lot of major figures out the St. Thomas. You feel me? Due to a lot of them being separated once the projects were demolished. So they was putting them in different areas, and, you know, people had a lot of stuff they used to be leaving outside them projects doing and going back in them projects, and once they had to start coming out of them projects, a lot of stuff went to happen. A lot of people went to losing their life. So that probably that probably that probably played a big part in that situation and as well. That probably played a big part in that situation. And them going back then, the terrain being different. Like for as to say people in the banal having home field advantage. You feel what I'm saying? Like all them you know what I'm saying, everybody grew up together, so it ain't like they gonna let people from a whole nother project come back in, take over, you feel me, or move how they wanna move. It would have it would have to be a lot of adjusting, you know what I'm saying? And they had they had home field advantage for all this. They had a lot of people that's from back there that was gonna keep people from back there on their toes. 
You know what I'm saying? It was going to make sure that they knew what was going on and what was taking place. You feel me? You probably had a lot of females out the B that used to be messing with niggas out the Thomas. You feel me? And vice versa. A lot of females out the B. I mean, a lot of females out the Thomas messing with niggas out the B, but you got to think of all the pillar talking that was going on around this time. It had to be crazy. You feel me? This one sleeping with that one, that one sleeping with this one, this one telling these, this one secrets, this one telling that one secrets, you feel me? This one sliming this one out and telling this nigga this one about this one and you feel me? I know that had to be a crazy, crazy, crazy time in the St. Bernard housing development. If any of y'all remember this war, man, get in that comment section. You know what I'm saying? Long live Butch Pops too. You feel me? Because I heard he, you know what I'm saying? He really was like an innocent, you feel me? But, you know, I guess it was like he was like a casualty of war. But they say Butch, Butch cut up behind that. Like, he really was going through that land law for real. And um, long live Frail, too. He would lose his life, too. That would be one of Butch's, one of Butch Capadre's, like one of his road dogs, you feel me? He would wind up losing his life, too. You feel me? But I know a lot of y'all should remember this situation, you know what I'm saying? I, I won't say it was like, I'm gonna see, 04 ish. Like, yeah, probably like 04, if I ain't mistaken. Something like that, 03, 04. Something, something up in that area, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was some with some up in that area. 03, 04. I won't say it was 04, though. If I, I, it might have been 03. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, a lot of people, like a lot of people lost their life in that situation, man. But long live all the fallen guys, man. You feel me? May the peace, mercy, and blessings of the Creator be up on all these souls. Everybody that lost their life in that situation from the Bernard and from the Thomas, man. Y'all get in that comment section, hit that like button. Make sure them notifications turned on. Hit that subscribe button and stay plugged. Slum 1200 GGI Mob. I'm trying to get paid in full. I'm trying to get paid in full. Yeah, I'ma do it till I'm laying in the ditch. But until then, I'm getting money like Mitch. I'm trying to get paid in full. Better die before I be a pro, nigga. Send them shoes to kick your dough, nigga. Coming straight up out, they didn't know, nigga. Chopper City cut through, nigga. Where I'm from is no joke, nigga. You can fuck around and get smoked, nigga. Yeah, I'm the GOAT, nigga If you want it, I can get you poke, nigga Shot call it, yeah, I'm big ballin' Neck and wrist look like water Shit, my pocket's fatter than my bitch ass She drippin' pussy like water She a bad bitch on that bag shit Tryna stack it up for her daughter The bitch suck the dick and then swallow the kids up Every day in that order